All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to be doing in this one is we are going to be um, solving a system by graphing. All right. So when doing this, basically what we want to do is graph each one of these separately. And we've already learned how to graph in standard form and in slope intercept form. So we should be semi familiar with how to graph um, each of these. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you could either use intercept method where you try to find the x and the y intercepts, or you can find use slope intercept form. Um, particularly when finding, when graphing a system, I think slope intercept form is the easiest because what we're going to be doing is looking for our intercept point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite each of these in slope intercept form. So to do that, I need to solve for y. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract an x on both sides. Then I have negative 3y equals negative x <laughs> plus 2. Now, again, to solve for y, I divide by negative 3. And then I have y equals, remember you divide the negative 3 into both of these terms. Negative divided by negative now is a positive 1 third x minus 2 thirds. OK. Then I'll go ahead and graph this one. 4x minus 12y equals 8. And now, to solve for y, I'll subtract a 4x. Negative 12y equals negative 4x plus 8. Does everybody follow me so far what I've done? OK, we're just solving for y, basically. Divide by negative 12. Divide by negative 12. And I get y is equal to, um, this becomes a positive 1 third x. And then this is going to be uh, 8 over 12, so 4. So it'd be 2 thirds, negative 2 thirds, right? OK, so what you guys notice is these two are exactly the same line, right? Now, let's go ahead and graph this, though, because I'm going to show you guys what that exactly means. And I'll do, I'll do another one that I forgot to check the answer on that one. So let's go ahead and graph. How would you even graph this anyways? Well, if here's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, if I'm going to go down 2 thirds, so if I break this up into thirds, I'm going to go down 2 thirds. And then this is saying, go up 1. So again, you break this up into thirds. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going up 1 and then over 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, the next thing that we need to do, so I follow the slope over 1, up 3. OK? Now, basically what I want you guys to understand, oops, I'm sorry. That should be, that's 1 third up. So that should be over here. Sorry about that. If you go up 1, you're going up 3 thirds. 1, 2, 3 thirds. Then 1, 2, 3. Sorry, my slope is wrong. OK. Now, it's important for you guys to understand what is, when not only is just graphing the system, but what we're also going to have to do is identify the system. So. Since we have a line on top of each other, we have the lines right on top of each other. That means every point is intersected with every point, correct? So therefore, what we have is a consistent solution. If they are parallel and the lines never intersect, it's what we call inconsistent. So if. They never intersect. They're parallel lines. They're inconsistent. That means there's no intersection. These, these infinitely intersect. They're always, they're always going to intersect each other. They're on top of each other. So it's a consistent, meaning it has a solution. And then it is dependent. Because there's infinite many points. If there's only one point, if there's only one solution point or one intersection point, then it's consistent independent. OK? I'll do one more real quick for you guys, just so you have a better idea of what to do. But basically, 